What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What is pop YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Dope Bass Panna. Today, I am doing some bomb crochet butterfly locks. Guys, this install method is literally so quick. And I'm going to show you guys how you guys can achieve crochet locks on hair that is super short. My client has a combination of a little bit of breakage in the back along the nape of her neck here. And also, she used to shave this off just because it will be really tangled. So she's in the process of now growing this back out. So I'm going to show you guys how I att attach the locks in this area so I'm gonna start off by parting it out and I'm gonna rubber band where each lock is gonna be placed doing this is going to allow the base to be super neat and it's also gonna allow me to have an area to latch the crochet lock onto the product that I'm using to define my parts today is Evolving Textures O-Gel. I will have this linked in the description section along with all of the product and details from the hair that I'm using in this video as well. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. So like any other lock install that I do, the rest of my client's hair is going to be braided because all of this hair is long enough for me to grip. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do the nape of the neck and then we'll get into the rest of the locks as well. But before we do that, I do want to share the hair that I'm using in this video. This video is sponsored by Toil Trust. They sent me one bag of their butterfly locks in 12 inches in the color 1B. One bag comes with seven packs, which has 10 locks in each pack. So it's a total of 70 locks. I use a total of five Five packs to complete this look which was a total of 46 locks so just wanted to show you guys what those locks look like and I'm gonna show you guys how I install on this back nape area so I'm gonna take the crochet hook this was also in the package so you don't have to buy this separately and I am going to put the lock through that loop and pull that right underneath the rubber band I then go ahead and take the end of the lock and I'm gonna put it through the loop as well as my clients natural hair So once I go ahead and secure that lock on there, you're going to see your client's natural hair kind of sticking up and we want to crochet that piece through the middle of the lock. So what I'm going to do is take my hook and I'm going to begin placing that through the middle of the faux lock and I'm going to latch my client's natural hair in and then pull that through the lock. Sometimes this can be challenging, um, but for the most part, it's fairly easy and the shorter your client's hair is actually the easier it is because you don't have to go as far down the lock. So I'm going to show you guys that one more time just so you guys can see it again a lot of people are gonna ask like you know is it worth putting the tension on those areas if they're shorter and these locks are actually extremely lightweight and as long as you're not putting your rubber band on there too tight this method should definitely not cause you any type of damage remember guys when you're removing rubber bands we should always focus on cutting them off the only time I would pull a rubber band is if it's like super old and they just break super easily but you should always 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 focus on cutting your rubber bands out to prevent any type of breakage on your hair so if you guys read the title, you guys will know that yes, this is a giveaway. I am teaming up with Toyo Tress and we are giving away the hair that is in this video. There are very strict rules that you guys must follow to enter this giveaway and we will be choosing 50 winners. Yes, 50 of my subscribers, guys. That's so many of you guys that will get to try out this hair and I promise you guys won't regret it. So the rules you guys must follow to enter this giveaway is number one, you're gonna follow at Toyo Tress underscore hair on Instagram as well as my hair page at Bray it up number two you're gonna join their Facebook group toil trust everyday benefits number three you're gonna make sure you like this video and you are subscribed to my channel once you've done all this you're gonna comment enter down below and DM toil trust on Instagram and we are gonna be picking 50 of you guys to receive this hair for free guys you must be in the United States in order to enter this giveaway I'm super excited and good luck so here you guys can see my client's natural hair is hidden in the lock, guys. This is a great method if you have a twa or any shorter areas on your hair. Um, this is definitely going to be able to hook in and it will stay, guys, trust me. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through and do my regular crochet method on the rest of these pieces. I have actually 
um, done a bunch of crochet lock tutorials on my channel so I know that a lot of these sections my hands are really blocking what I'm doing but I'm basically doing the same method that I just showed you guys on those shorter pieces I'm going to go ahead and crochet the lock underneath the base of the braid and I'm gonna pull my clients natural hair through and the end of the lock and then I'm gonna tuck her braid into the middle of the lock the only thing you need to worry about for this is making sure that when you're plaiting your client's natural hair, the braids are small enough to fit through the center of the lock. So really you just need to look at the thickness of the lock that you're installing and just make sure that whatever size your client's natural hair is can fit through the middle of that lock. I typically do a medium size for my locks and I really never had an issue, but some of these were a little bit harder to pull through so it just really depends. Alright guys, so a couple things that I really love about these locks is number one, this is going to cut your install time in half. So if you guys read the title, um, I always put quick method because for me personally, wrapping takes so much time. I'm not someone who does faux locks often, so I'm not super quick at wrapping, especially when I'm doing the butterfly method and trying to use my thumb to create that look. It just takes a really long time. So this definitely cuts the install time in half. I installed this whole um, head in two hours which is amazing for me if I were to wrap this it would take me anywhere from four to five hours to do that I also love how lightweight this style is it does not require a lot of hair um, like I said they sent me one bag which has seven packs of hair in it and I only use five of those packs they also have a sale going on right now so if you guys check the description section you guys can get that coupon code and you can get this hair on sale guys Anybody loves a cheap style that will definitely last you long and this is one of those styles. I also like the look of the locks so they're very shiny. Um, I love the consistency of the butterfly lock and I just love how like natural and realistic they look. Guys these locks are definitely on trend especially in a shorter um, size. They definitely have other different lengths so go ahead and check that out on their Amazon store. So here I did create a side part. Sometimes I like to play around with where the locks lay just to see how I like to look differently. And um, you guys can see that there is a lot of versatility in these locks even when you first get them done. It should be really pain free for your client um, because yeah, you're just braiding your client's natural hair. This is probably the best angle that I have for how I install the, um, the faux locks. And I'm sorry that I didn't get better views. Guys, honestly, I set up my camera to record and I wasn't really looking at the footage as I was doing it, which is what I typically do. So hopefully you guys can kind of get the gist of what I'm doing here. If not, I have a bunch of other tutorials on my channel where you guys can definitely see. guys so here we are at the finished look I don't have to put any mousse or anything on it literally all I do is touch up my clients edges and she is pretty much good to go ready to go so guys I absolutely love these locks I would definitely 100% recommend I think that these look so natural you cannot tell that I didn't wrap them and my most favorite part about them is they are really flat at the base which is really key to a nice crochet look so that people don't know that obviously it's crocheted so I love the way that this this looks and I love the way that it turned out on her um, I was just playing with her edges because I'm like why are they white but it was actually just her makeup which looks absolutely bomb um, so yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this look if you guys have tried the crochet locks and have preferred them let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have not I'm telling you you guys are really missing out make sure you guys check that description section Go ahead and copy some of these, tag me in your photos when you recreate it because sis, I know you're gonna be looking bomb as ever. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. I'm gonna um, actually show you guys the look in a couple of other different ways. I know whenever I finish my looks, I never really style them, style them, I kinda just let them hang. So I did wanna show you guys um, what it would look like with the middle part and also what it would look like half up, half down. I do want to remind you guys, I know I have said this in other tutorials, but if you guys are looking for more of a 
blunt bob look then you definitely will need to get different size locks but if you get all the same locks it will be more of a layered look which is what we have going on here um so yeah this is what it looks like with a half up half down which this is probably absolutely my favorite when you leave the two pieces out with a half up half down and then i'm also going to show you what it looks like with the middle part whenever i style my clients whether they want a side part or a middle part i always give them a middle part just so they have a little bit of versatility in their style so yeah don't forget to like this video <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell guys thank you so much for all of your support and as always i will catch you guys in my next video what you mean you don't know panna she's dope what you mean what you mean what you mean what you mean, what you mean? What you mean?